Back in 2014, I began listening to what Tony Sieber was saying, and to me it made so much sense. He presented it in a way that was so logical, and yet so many people have said he was crazy, or at the time they certainly did. Those people, though, are quiet as a mouse today. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, there's a reason that millions of Americans have installed solar panels. Solar deployment has increased by 500% within a pretty short pace of period of time. And Siba predicted that all of this would happen. He did. I mean, it's a true fact. You can look back at his videos from 2014, even earlier. Here's the thing. If we look at the price of solar photovoltaic panels, the staggering decrease in the cost was something that we couldn't have known would happen. But, well, Tony Sieber did. In 1975, the average cost per watt was 125 US dollars. Fast forward to today. The average cost per watt is 20 cents. Now, if you look at the price in China, that price is actually closer to around about 5 cents per watt based on 2024's numbers. In other words, Siba pretty well predicted correctly that the price of solar would drop by amounts that no one believed was even possible. So here's the thing. How is that changing the world? Well, many countries around the world are now installing solar at the fastest pace we've ever seen in human history. And the US, you might think, are behind. Well, compared to some, they are. But others, they're not. And surprisingly, many people don't realize that since 2016, the deployment of solar panels has skyrocketed. There was not that many solar panels in America in 2016. Today, that's entirely changed. You know, in the renewable energy area, with EVs, when we're talking about disruption, we often use the term exponential. Uh, now people kind of mock that term. They say, oh, it's just thrown around the word exponential. But sometimes it really is relevant. When it comes to the number of solar installations in America, well, I think it's fair to use that term. In the US, in 2016, you guys had only 1 million solar installations across the entire United States. That was only... In fact, less than eight years ago. In Australia today, we have more than what you guys had in 2016. We only have a population of 25 billion people. However, since then, things have changed completely in America. And this really shows what can happen with electricity, with energy, with disruptions. There is now 5 million solar installations across the United States. That means that since 2016, the number of solar installations has gone up by a factor of five, five X. The US solar industry, particularly the rooftop area of solar, is going through apparently a tough time. The country's biggest solar market, says Clean Technica, by far California, and the industry there has been hit hard by the huge solar policy downgrade to net metering 3.0. However, there is a lot to celebrate when it comes to solar power progress in the United States. The Solar Energy Industries Association, which is called SEIA, recently reported that the country, the US, has passed 5 million solar installations. By the end of this year, it will likely hit 6 million. That's amazing. And that is transforming the grid in America, or well, in particular in California, where those solar panels are being used in conjunction with some of the biggest batteries in the world to completely revolutionize California's grid. Now, people might hear, oh, revolutionize California's grid. Oh, that sounds like a whole lot of bullshit. It's actually completely true. The number one source of electricity now, but in the evening peak between 6 to 9 p.m. when electricity was very expensive. When everyone gets home, turns on their uh, air conditioners, gets home from work. Well, the number one source of energy now during that peak period is no longer fossil fuels. It's actually 
technically solar, even though there's no sun, um, because these huge batteries are being soaking up all this extra solar during the middle of the day, they're now powering that peak period in between 6 to 9 p.m. So you guys installing all those solar panels have maybe intentionally or unintentionally become the solution to California's grid. Interestingly, is that this is a 5x increase from the 1 million solar panels back in 2016. Solar power has been growing fast in America. Uh, intriguingly though, solar is actually kind of expensive in America in comparison to Australia. Now here in Australia, we, we get access to Chinese solar, solar panels. There's no tariffs on them. So they're insane. Solar is insanely cheap, guys. I actually just got a quote for solar today to double the number of solar panels on my roof here. And it was incredibly, incredibly cheap. Now I'm gonna get a full copy of that quote to show you guys on the channel. Um, in fact, I'll get a full copy of a couple of quotes to show you guys on the channel to show you the approximate price for solar we're paying here in Australia. But on average, it's about half what you guys pay in America. But that said, can the number of solar panels double in the US between say now and 2030? And that's still you know nearly six years away. So can you guys go from 5 million to 10 million? I absolutely think that it can happen. Here's what the SEIA had to say. Today, 7% of homes in America have solar. This number will grow to over 15% of US homes by 2030. That would mean that there won't just be a doubling, it'll be more than double. The SEIA expects total solar installations to not only double to 10 million by 2030, but they expect them to triple to 15 million by 2034. So within 10 years time, there will be more than 15 million solar panels in America, providing enormous amounts of energy. That increase from 5 million to 10 million will come in six years. The increase from 10 million to 15 million will take only four years. And here's the thing. Solar is quickly becoming the dominant source of electricity on the grid, said the SEIA, allowing communities to breathe cleaner air and lead healthier lives and to have much cheaper electricity to power their electric cars for free in many cases. In addition to this, more than 25% of US solar installations have come online since the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 became law. So more than 25% of those 5 million have been installed over the past 20 months. So in my opinion, the number of 15 million in solar installations by 2034 is probably a bit pessimistic. It's these kind of predictions from uh, basically intergovernmental agencies that are often, often pessimistic, and usually we outdo those numbers by a significant number. It's one of the points Tony Sieber makes over and over and over. Sieber is kind of like a, um, he says this, over and over and over, and I love it. He says, the IEA love them, but they get it wrong every time. They always understate the progress of new technology, the disruption of this new technology. And he's saying that solar, actually the deployment of solar panels will go at a much faster pace than what the SEIA are predicting. And that solar panel prices will continue to come down as a result. Now, Unfortunately, because of this new technicality you guys have in America, your deployment of solar um, will probably increase at a slower pace than other places like, for example, Spain, where they have hit 50%. Uh, Portugal, similar numbers. Germany as well. Australia here, the growth of solar has exploded over the past 10 years also. Now, like I said, we do have access to cheaper solar panels. We don't have some of the restrictions you guys have in some places in America, but still, here's the thing. 90% of the world lives on the Sun Belt. 90% of the world should use solar panels. It makes complete economic sense. And if you have a look at the actual cost of solar panels, they have come down by 93% over the past 14 years. That is enormous. Thanks for watching.